Hello guys, in this video we will study how to set time zone time and also how to get timestamp and time from internal RTC of a microcontroller. So let's get started. First we'll take a on start event node. To set time zone, we'll take a RTC time zone node. We'll specify a time zone. To set time, we'll take a RTC uh, set time node. Here we'll specify our timings. Here I will specify 0, 05 seconds, minutes, 49 hours. Yeah. Now you will take a RTC get time node. To get a time from a internal from a RTC, you will get three outputs microseconds, milliseconds and seconds. To display the seconds, we'll take a display num node, connect with the flow, we'll pass variable seconds and label it seconds. To get RTC timestamp, we'll take a RTC timestamp. We'll connect with a flow in the RTC get time step. We'll get microseconds, milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours, year, weekday, year day, and daylight saving time. To print the year, we'll take display num node. We'll connect with a flow and we'll pass the variable. We'll label it as year. To get time from internet, we'll take SNTP node. It will also set the current time take, uh, in the RTC. Add some delay because it takes time to set uh, time in the RTC. So we'll before taking time from the internet, we need to connect with our Wi-Fi. So we'll take a Wi-Fi start node. We'll connect up with flow. We'll configure our Wi-Fi. We'll specify our Wi-Fi SSID. We'll specify the password. We'll take SNTP node. We'll connect with the flow and the SNTP node. Here we'll specify our SNTP URL pool.ntp.org. We'll add some delay so that it can uh, set our uh, timing RTC. We'll add delay of 10 seconds. We'll take RTC get time or uh, get time to get the current time and we'll take display num node to print the seconds. So let's save the flow. Verify the flow and we are good to upload it.
Let's go to a serial display. Select port. And here we got here the RTC get timestamp node. And after if I connect it, it will wait for 10 seconds. And here we got the current seconds from our RTC. 